I guess Phil, we'll, continue, we'll do one more discussion, and then we'll, we'll end it here. How uh, we? I guess we can ask. How is your car been treating you? Your new one? That's fine. Does it have any point A to point B? It's what? It's point A to point B. <laughs> Does it have any more bells and whistles than your old car? Uh, yeah, it does. Well, it's 2018, so it has that all that lane assist and oh, it does have lane assist control. It does, yeah. Okay. I don't need it, but it has it. I don't. I I turn. I keep it off. I was gonna I say. Find, I found it annoying in the last car. Right. I have a like every once in a while, it'll catch a line that isn't like quite as far in and starts buzzing. Well, yeah, like that's the thing, right? Like it would, like sometimes it would think like you're in the lane because it, it yeah. would think like the edge of the road or something. It get it get confused, and then it start beeping at you, move over, and it's like I'm in the center of the damn lane. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, old technology. We have to. You have to. You have to get like the brand new ones that are better. <laughs> that, no, that was that was on the that was on the Volkswagen. Oh, okay. I guess it, I uh, haven't that, turned it on in my car because of that. It must come down to the brand then. See, that was on the twenty twenty eight Volkswagen. So we'll see. That's the uh, so that's the big thing. Why people. You know, people talk about, you know, it, it's autopilot, quote unquote, but it is adaptive you know, cruise control is what they call it. Yeah, but it's way. It, but like, think about it though. Think about how much further, because it doesn't have the problems with the with the freaking lines like that does. Not to my knowledge, anyways. You would hear about that. You know, anything with Tesla, there's a problem. It would make it makes national freaking news. So if there was a problem like that, you would hear about it. But there isn't. But they're the same year of car, right? Well, that's like mom's Mazda, the lane assist is, it doesn't do that. Yeah, so Volkswagen's algorithms are just behind other brands. Yeah. It's possible. It, it, did a, it did a decent job. It's just that there's some spots on the path that, that I take to work. It, it'll always be the same curb, too. It's always the same curve, and I don't know why, but it just, it just gets confused. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I was thought we were talking about the eclipse trip, but you're talking about just your going to work. In well, general. no, the eclipse trip was on the interstate. It doesn't care on the interstate. Okay. I'm talking about driving to and from work. Oh well, I was also thinking when we were up in the uh, the Ozarks on those twisty ass roads. Yeah, we were still like on a highway. They clearly the marked lane. It was. It didn't. I, I didn't notice anything on there. Oh, okay. I because I thought you said it. Well, when I was driving to and from work, okay. And I was like, "What the hell is going on?" Okay, because I thought it was fighting you up in the Ozarks. Because Kyle was bitching the entire time about why are you taking the turns like this. He always does that. Yeah. No, that was no, that was because all the hills were just unexpected. You know, I was trying to keep traffic moving. I, I didn't want to go twenty miles an hour. Right. I didn't have any problems. We he just, always complained. I, I think I don't know if it's just the back seat. I don't know what the deal is. We just. I think it's I think it's the fact that the driver and passenger, you know, they're up front. They can anticipate the turn. Versus, you know, being in the back seat, looking up the window, and then all of a sudden, you, you, the turns come unexpected. We need a... We need I, think a it's, I, think, I think it's more of a psychological thing. Right. We need a dash camera that feeds to the back seat. To, like, a screen. That way he can see mm -hmm. what's going on. Yeah. Like, here you go. Stare into the screen. Although... <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna have a delay, and it might make it worse. <laughs> it might make him nauseous. That'd be funny. <laughs> More nauseous than he already would be, because that lag is nasty. I don't know. There's a William Osmond ep uh, video where they uh, they drove a car with real life lag. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, I, that's, that's an old one. I haven't seen it forever. I'll, I should rewatch it at some point today. 
Um, no, I like the one that was, uh, 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 how little do you need on a car for it to be a car? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one. They cut how a much, car in how half. Much shit, how much shit do we need on this? Do we actually need on this car? You know, honestly, I don't think we need the whole back half of a car. Chopped yeah. off. Well, yeah, and then they just drove it up to a cop and says, this is street legal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, but, you know, what was crazy was the half... Didn't they go just drive to the next car, too? Yeah. And what the funny part was, the half car was more street legal than the other car because what was... Street lights or something, right? What? Something. No, it wasn't. They did something on it, and it was like, yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, something that they did. It was yeah, it was something they did on the other car that the cop was like, "No, you can't, you can't do that." But somehow the half car was perfectly fine because they didn't because it was they were they tried to get two different cars, two two of the same cars, but I think they were ever so slightly different, which is why they were able to cut it in half. But no, they that was, that's a crazy video. What's the bare minimum you need to drive a car? I will say I think you need back tires until it, until it's a motorcycle. You can just keep taking off everything, you know. Motorcycle is just a seat on top of an engine. And a motorcycle has one too many wheels. All you really need is a wheel. <laughs> a mono wheel. A unibike. I mean, you've seen one wheel. That's like that's the bare minimum. A motor and a wheel. You don't even need a way to steer it. You just lean. <laughs> uh, I put it on a ball, like like the Dyson vacuum, so it's like a zero point turn. Oh, oh my God! Can you? Uh, oh my God! How does that? See, I I remember watching like concept videos a long time ago of cars where the wheels were gonna be giant balls, mm -hmm. and I was you know at the time I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. But now I think about it, how do you? Uh, how does that cancel out your forward momentum when you go to shift to another lane? What do you mean? Well, because, like, you know, the motors can tell it to go sideways. Like, it can st <laughs> it could stop all <laughs> that tire would, it could stop all the forward momentum and go left. <laughs> Instead, you know, as it should go in a diagonal. But, like, they showed it just doing this and, like, moving in, like, straight lines instead of diagonals and curves. Uh, and I hey, you lean with your body. Well, no, 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 no. no. Well, no, I, I, no. I, your concept would be fine. I just, I don't know those ball concepts. I was just like, how does that work? <laughs> You're just gonna cancel out all your forward momentum and just go sideways. It's, a, it was such a stupid yeah. thing because it was basically the whole point was so you could parallel park easier. And change oh, lanes. Oh, okay. I got, I got what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And change, and change lanes better. But no, yeah, realistically, yeah. yeah. If you just put a ball and somehow power the ball, that's all you need. Then you can just lean yeah. for whatever direction you need to go. Yeah. Just that, drop your seat on top of an engine and you're good to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, there we go. Most. Uh, the most. Uh, we got a new video idea. I, I don't mean, yeah, you know, it, it's like that's that's literally what it, if you if you put a seat strapped to an engine, put wings on it, it's an F thirty five. Put wheels on it, and it's a motorcycle. Put wings on it, it's an F thirty five. I think we're missing a few things. <laughs> wait a minute! Wait a minute! How does it? No, you have a glider. You you have a glider. You need a, a you need, a, need an engine. What? Glider doesn't need an engine. Well, yeah, but it's not an F thirty five because once you get off the ground, it, it only has momentum. It doesn't have. It's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna land. <laughs> there's nothing. There's no powered flight. It has an engine. Well, okay, but like the engine producing the thrust. Rotary force, not air force. Yeah, it was powering the tires. Yeah. Are, yeah, yeah. I don't think we can I don't think we can convert a car engine. I I don't think we can 
I don't think car exhaust is powerful enough to power a, a power a plane. I think you're underestimating the power of uh, of uh, combustion engines. No, I mean, if we put a propeller on the output instead of a wheel, yeah, we could take off, no problems. No, not a propeller. I'm talking like a jet. That I think a power a jet engine. <laughs> you know how a jet engine works. <laughs> you can power it with just a little bit of gasoline, and you're good. To, you're off to the races. This is the guy that works on airplanes. I, I'm genuinely concerned. Well, I yeah, the... I'm more than qualified to speak on this. Thank you for thank you for putting my qualifications out there. Yeah, but now I'm beginning to be concerned <laughs> about your qualifications. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start hearing news. Work being now, done granted, at the now granted, he works on the batteries, the and now he's just in the calibration lab. So, like, you know, he's not he's not working on the engines. For all he knows, that battery powers a normal car engine. I work on the test cells for the engine. Yeah, see, he doesn't know what the engine looks like. For all he knows, oh, I sure do. I work on the machine that's used to test the engine. Oh, the, the the machine to test the machine. Oh, great. <laughs> I I've been making the joke. Yeah. To... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> oh man, how that? Okay, okay, back. We gotta cycle back. So, we, so hold on. We got we gotta cycle back. So it was we got onto the William Osmond video about drive wind lag because we were talking about your brother in the back seat. Yeah. Because we were talking about lane assist. Because we were talking about yeah. how is your car? There we go. <laughs> what freaking what fucked up line of logic was that? <laughs> My God! <laughs> I asked you, how's your car? Ends up on fundamental airplane design. So <laughs> that's not, that's not a normal line. How conversations so? work. Do you not know how, how my brain works? We go down, you jump into one rabbit hole, you end up on the complete opposite side of, of the land. <sighs> I know. It's terrifying. At some point... <laughs> I, I, there are holes within holes. There's holes within holes. what is a hole in a hole. <laughs> you know, your I rabbit say, holes I say, are... Do you have you, 10 minutes? Like, your, your, your rabbit holes approach a singularity... And when you come out at singularity, you oh, can be... Oh, there is no singularity, my friend. It is a hole within a hole around another hole. <laughs> I think that defines... There is no single hole. I think that defines a singularity. <laughs> a singularity be one would be the single point to which it all converges. There is no convergent point. <laughs> so, it's an ela so it's a labyrinth. Yeah, more or less. More or less. <laughs> There are many paths and many exits. And many of those paths lead you to many different exits. But they all do not lead to the same. Yeah. Isn't that terrifying? No. Yeah. No, no it's not. Anyways. <laughs> is there anything else that anybody needs to talk about? We're at the 50 minute mark. Speak now if ever hold your peace. Uh, I think I've talked more than enough. Actually, I'm good. I wish I could undo the last 50 minutes, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. New podcast every Friday, noon, central time. We're actually coming up on probably an empty week because of our our trip to California. And uh, good night. <laughs>